Macy Hensley here. History is releasing a new miniseries on Memorial Day about former President Ulysses S. Grant. Just one note, the Grant series is TV 14, so that means it's not for younger kids. But here's a little of what I've learned about this incredible man. given the name Hiram Ulysses Grant at birth. Legend has it he did not like the initials H-U-G or HUG and changed his name to Ulysses Hiram Grant. A mix-up at West Point led his name being changed to Ulysses S. Grant. The initials U.S. Grant led him to the nickname Sam as in Uncle Sam. No matter how it came about, we definitely know and respect the name Ulysses S. Grant. While at West Point, Grant became known as a horse whisperer. Grant was always a shy, humble man, but he seemed to get along and understand horses very well. He set an equestrian high jump record that lasted more than 25 years. However, this whisperer must have whispered a little too loudly. When later, as President of the United States, he received a speeding ticket on his horse-drawn carriage. But more on that in a bit. After graduating from West Point, Grant, who was an average student, was stationed in St. Louis, Missouri. This is where he met his future Mrs. Grant. But before they could get married, Ulysses Grant was shipped off to duty during the Mexican-American War, where he served under another future president, Zachary Taylor. Grant planned to resign after his mandatory four years of service in the military, but he stayed for nearly 10 years before resigning. His love of drinking may have contributed to and even forced his resignation after several years of trying to farm, sell firewood, and other odd jobs. Grant went to work at his father's tannery business, a job that he despised. But when the Civil War broke out in 1861, Grant was recommissioned and was quickly promoted to Major General. Grant led troops through many battles, almost always coming out victorious. On April 9, 1865, General Robert E. Lee surrendered to General Grant on a farm near Appomattox Courthouse in Virginia. Five days later, Mr. and Mrs. Grant were invited by President Lincoln to attend a play at Ford's Theater. However, lucky for Grant, Julia was eager to leave town to visit her family, so they decided not to go. That night, during the play, President Lincoln was shot by John Wilkes Booth, and he passed away the next morning. Democratic President Andrew Johnson, who became president after Lincoln was assassinated, was not a popular president. He was actually impeached by the House of Representatives, but narrowly avoided being convicted by the Senate. The Republicans nominated Ulysses S. Grant as their nominee for president in the 1868 election. Grant won easily and became the youngest president at that time, at the age of 46. In the next election for president in 1872, he ran against the first woman president in the race. Victoria Woodhall was the presidential nominee for the Equal Rights Party. As president, Grant supported the ratification of the 15th Amendment. This gave black men the right to vote. He also established the Department of Justice and the Weather Bureau, now known as the National Weather Service. Now, back to the speeding ticket story. His love for horses continued into his presidency. Story is that the president was driving his horse-drawn carriage down a Washington, D.C. street and was stopped by a police officer and was giving a warning for going too fast. The next day, the same police officer spotted the president again speeding down a D.C. street. It took nearly a block for the officer to catch up to him. This time, the president did not receive a warning. Rather, he received a speeding ticket. President Grant never showed up in court. However, he did pay his $20 fine. President Grant's wife, Julia, was cross-eyed from birth and very self-conscious. However, Ulysses loved Julia so much, he did not care what she looked like. 
Julia consulted a famous surgeon about having her eyes surgically fixed once. But when the president found out, he told her he fell in love with her looking like that. He did not want her to change. She canceled her appointment and never worried about her eyes again. However, if you notice, many of her portraits are of her side profile to help with the appearance of her eyes. But I don't think President Grant cared at all. Rumors are that the president smoked as many as 20 cigars a day, starting during his years in the military. This most likely contributed to his throat cancer. As Grant was getting sicker from his cancer, he was also in great financial troubles. His financial firm had gone bankrupt due to his partner embezzling money. Grant did not want the family to be left penniless, so he started writing his memoirs. The president finished the last page before he passed away. A friend, Mark Twain, published the memoirs after the president's death. It became a bestseller and provided enough money for Julia and Grant's family to live rather comfortably. President Grant will mostly be remembered for his service during the Civil War. As you can see, there is so much more to this once great president of the United States. Check your billfold. If you are lucky, there may be a picture of him in there. This is Macy Hensley, and until next time, remember, history is made every day, even at home.